So this right here is my video response to the video that has caused so much commotion overnight over two white girls hating on illegal immigrants. And not only hating on illegal immigrants, but offending every Mexican out there. I'm not hating white people in general at all in this video. I'm just rather angry with the young ladies who made the video. And also this video is for other racists out there. Because I know there are a lot of you hating on us Mexicans. We, as Mexicans, we are loving people. We accept any nationality. As long as you're nice to us, we'll be nice back. It's simple. It's just so easy. We just dance and sing and have fun. So the respect that my parents taught me to have towards others, that is a respect I am going to portray in this video. So I am not going to cuss out anyone. I am not going to show my hatred against people that do not respect Mexicans in general, let alone illegals. And I hate that word with a passion because illegal says who? Says the American government because we don't have the paperwork saying that we are from here? Says who? We are illegals. Says who? You Americans are not better than us Mexicans. A human being is a human being. We have the same amount of fingers. We have two eyes. We have a mouth. What makes you judge us for coming here for a better life? You think it is easy to leave our homeland leave our family? You think it's easy for us to put our life in danger and cross a border? Okay, my reaction watching this video went from So in this video, these two young ladies make references like take your burrito and go back to your country. Well, for beginners, burritos aren't really that popular in Mexico. So before you are going to go ahead and talk about Mexicans, educate yourself first. They think that we are here trying to steal <laughs> the U.S., that we are here for welfare, that we are here to just bother you guys. We are not here to bother you guys. We are here to make a living. We are here because we left our country, our homeland, for a better life. Bottom line. We are not here to cause any trouble. We are not here to steal anything away from anybody. Because like I said, if we go ahead and talk about stealing, you guys stole Texas from Mexico, New Mexico from Mexico, Arizona from Mexico, Colorado from Mexico, California from Mexico, Nevada from Mexico, Utah from Mexico, and Wyoming from Mexico. So <laughs> maybe we should do that. All illegals go live in those eight states and we are going to kick out every Anglo-Saxon living on those states because those states belong to Mexico way back. Every single time I hear hate about Mexicans, it just makes me laugh because honestly, if I were to write down everything that illegals bring to the table to the United States, you would be mind boggled by all of the things that you have and all the privileges that you have thanks to your illegals, the illegals that you hate so much. Also, so much hate against Mexicans. What did we ever do to you? I bet you anything that an illegal 
if that is what you want to call us, if the illegal is working hard, he is not even going to pay attention to you. Coming to this country to work and feed our children, send money back home to our parents in Mexico. You think we are going to go off and pay attention to ignorant white girls like you? That's never going to happen. No es mi problema que sus padres no les inculcan los valores necesarios para respetar a los demás. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're not going to understand what I just said because you just speak one language. Unlike us Mexicans, we speak Spanish and English. So, okay, bonus points for Mexicans. Anyways, as I was saying, it is not our fault that you did not learn to respect others. Your parents did not educate you with the right principles and the right morals. Okay, in the video, the girls claim that in school, class would be stopped to help these poor legals. Girl, please, okay? In school, there was a class assigned for kids, not only Mexicans, kids from all nationalities, to go in that class to learn English, and it is ESL. So first, educate yourself if you even went to school, and the class was never stopped because of a person that did not speak English. The person that did not speak English was sent to a special class. Period. Going, getting a green card is probably the hardest thing ever. So if you are not educated in what they ask for to, to get a green card, then don't even talk about it because you look ridiculous. Going to get a green card, you have to show so much paperwork. You have to show that you have a great job. If you had a great job, you think you would need a green card to go to the United States to work? No, that's not logical. You need to have a great job with so many, you know, um, benefits. If I had all these benefits, odds are I'm not going to go to the United States. Second, you need to have bank accounts with loads of money. You have to have credit cards such as American Express and all of these fancy things. Again, if I had these fancy things, I would not be going to the United States. Four, you have to demonstrate your education, at least have university. At least have university? If I had university and I had a career, I would not want to go to the United States. Please. It's dumb. It's so dumb. Like, who comes up with these things? Really. Also, another thing caught my eye from this video People always assume that Mexicans always have a taco in their hand or a burrito, wear a sombrero, and ride donkeys the whole day. Actually, if you can educate yourself, you can Google three important Mexican cities, which would be Monterrey, Guadalajara, and El Distrito Federal. If you Google these cities, these cities are compatible to LA, to New York. We have cities in Mexico. We don't live off dirt roads. We don't live in mud houses. We have the same things America has. That's it. <laughs> I don't know where people get this from. If you've never been to Mexico, why even talk about a country you've never even been to? We have great malls. The shopping in Mexico is amazing. We have so many museums rich in culture and history that if you would take your time and do your research and educate yourself, you would realize that there is so much more out there than what you know. It is a country that is not mediocre, it is not a country that has all these um, issues about presidents wanting to take over and that the people do not have rights. It's a 
democracy in Mexico, and it's just like the United States. The only problem in Mexico is the insecurities taken over by the drug cartels. But that is just a different story, because also people have the misconception about all this violence going on in Mexico. You guys do not even know why it's going on, what is the deal with it, government has to do with it, and all this stuff. You need to live in Mexico to comprehend what is actually going on. Because what they give on the news is not even half of what reality is. Mexico is not as dangerous as it seems. It's just funny to me how people always talk about, oh, you don't go to Mexico because you're going to get shot. You're going to get your head cut off. No, you just have to know where to go. Go to the popular cities. I feel like I just spent this video ranting and saying all of these things supporting Mexicans. I, being a Mexican myself, I am not supporting anything. I'm just wishing humanity would just be so much better at not judging others, at just minding your own business, doing what you do. As long as no one gets in your way, then everyone's going to be fine. Humanity can be so simple, but people just like to complicate things for no apparent reason. And it's sad. It really is sad. This video was just shocking to me. It just blew my mind away how people can be so cold-blooded and not think of how many kids born in the United States are left without parents and their parents get deported and the United States does not care about them. And just so sad. And then I'm going to start crying. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Siendo mexicano, nos duele cuando la gente juzga sin saber. Cuando la gente ofende sin saber. Cuando la gente no tiene la capacidad de comprender las necesidades de uno. Las necesidades, los privilegios que uno tiene que dejar para poder gozar de una mejor vida. Es ilógico la manera que la gente piensa sobre siendo feliz y trabajar por la familia. Porque para nosotros los mexicanos la familia es todo para nosotros. Y el que alguien venga y nos corra de un país que está lleno de amargura, está lleno de comida chatarra, está lleno de gente egoísta, que está lleno de tantas cosas que si nos pusiéramos a pensar, nuestro México lindo y querido, como él no hay dos, la comida las fiestas, el amor entre la gente, el calor de un abrazo de tu abuelita, tantas cosas que la gente americana en general no entiende, no comprende, no comprende los sacrificios que uno hace irse a otro país, como que si fuera algo que quisiéramos hacer, no es querer, es necesidad.